Hello Baffer mates, I'm Job Fortuna. This is the Book of Job YouTube channel and I just want to wish you all a happy blasphemy day. So last year I did a TikTok series talking about blasphemy, the sort of things that qualify as blasphemy, and even point out how some of the things back then that qualify as blasphemy is pretty much mundane at best nowadays. And I'll leave a link to the video um, in the descriptions here. So as it's blasphemy day, I did have a few project ideas going around in my head. Um, unfortunately none of them have really been finished on time either due to just too many other things going on or my skill level with music isn't as good as I thought it was. So in today's video I thought I'd do something relatively simple but something that still qualifies as blasphemy. Now one of the more fundamental things of Christianity and Judaism is the Ten Commandments. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a rewrite for my own personal taste. So just to quickly go through, because not a lot of people can actually remember all ten off by heart, but we have uh, have no gods before me, uh, that shall not have craven images, that shall not take the Lord's name in vain, keep the Sabbath holy, respect your mum and dad, don't kill, don't commit adultery, don't steal, uh, don't bear false witness or don't lie, depending on which translation you read, and uh, thou shalt not covet. Which, let's be fair, most people follow some of them, but I mean, like, don't covet, that's basically capitalism, and, you know, we kind of have a capitalist, capitalistic society, but that's just what it is. So, as a form of blasphemy, I thought I'd kind of go through and kind of do a little bit of a rewrite for my own personal taste. Now, I'm fully aware George Carlin did this many moons ago and basically boiled it down to like two to three sentences. However, I said this is more of a personal thing and it's not going to be as funny. Uh, but, uh, having a little read through, um, I had my own little list of things I would think that's a bit more applicable. So, the first one is, there are no gods. Uh, worship as you wish. Um, nice little freedom of worship because if I don't, you know, I don't care if you go to church, mosque, synagogue, don't really care, you know, do what you want as long as it doesn't cause harm to anyone else. Next one I've got is speak of it if you wish, you're free to talk about your religion if you want to. Um, once again, as long as it's not thrust upon you, if someone asks you, hey, what's your religion, you can talk about it, you know, more of a conversational thing. Um, enjoy your days of worship, which I think is quite important. Um, even if you're not a believer in anything, you can still enjoy stuff like your birthday, enjoy Christmas, however you wish to celebrate at Christmas, your what have you. Uh, respect your fellow person, because let's be honest, um, some parents don't deserve respect just on the fact that they're your parents. There's lots of stories where, well, people's parents aren't exactly the most worthy of respect. Um, don't take what is not consented and I think that kind of covers the a, a couple of them already in the stealing and murder because consent is important very much important unlike in the Bible so the other one I have is do not be deceitful similar to don't lie but then I feel like even like play on words where you're technically telling, you know, on paper you're telling the truth, but you know that's not really what's being asked. Because lying is one thing, being outwardly deceitful covers more than just stuff of lies. And the last one is work hard for your goals. Because as much as don't covet, once again, if you're a person who is of low income and of low means, and your next door neighbour has greater means than you, I think it's perfectly reasonable to kind of want the sort of lifestyle someone else has um, but at the same time it's still having to remind yourself that sometimes you may need to work a little harder but unfortunately we do live in a system where sometimes that isn't the case where just because you work hard doesn't necessarily mean you get the value of your worth at least in a work work-based perspective but yeah so this is a short video um, I said it's a little bit of blasphemy because it's still rewriting uh, scripture but yeah, um, stuff as I said, stuff as simple as rewriting something still qualifies. Um, hell, as I said, as I said in another video, uh, it's linked in the description. Merely not believing in God is enough to be 
a sin, blasphemy, etc. So that's just my personal thought. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. If you have your own versions, uh, comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember to remember to live deliciously. I don't know why I said that twice, but I'm too lazy to edit it out.